be brief. Um, this is harder than I thought. I wanted to come up with a bit of a message of hope. Um, my wife went to a New Life event 15 years ago that saved her. And I, we didn't realize until we came here that it happened to be New Life that had saved her 15 years ago, the same New Life. Um, and because of my wife uh, and New Life, because of her being there and things she's done, I, I've been saved. I gave my life to Christ six months ago, and I've been on a path of recovery and helping from sexual addiction, from trying to compensate for my wounds of hurt, all these things. So I came up here with a bit of hope and came into this already happy and, and working. So before this weekend, I came in, my wife and I struggling with intimacy. Much of the struggle is a result of my sexual sin and betrayal and inability to be intimate, transparent, true to my heart, and empathetic to her. Um, this weekend's been a roller coaster, painful, joyous, filled with laughter and tears. It's been a reminder of God's love for me and God's love for everyone in this room. Um, and it's a reminder that it gets harder before it gets better but that it does get better. This weekend has been a blessing for my wife and for I both individually and in our healing. I leave here with a renewed fire to dig deeper in my life, with a, to share more of me, the deep down the ugly, with my wife, and a commitment to surrender the fear that I have and that I want to hold on to so tightly, fear of so many things. Um, I leave here with the hope I came in with, um, more tools to use on this journey, and more hope from seeing all the people in this room. And I leave here with a renewed sense of wanting to take this and share it with so many people that maybe don't understand sexual addiction, that it's not that, it's a compensation for wounds and so many things that so many people in this room are feeling, and that this whole society in general needs help with. Yeah. So, thank you. All right. Thank